Welcome to this session on Redis. In this session, we are going to learn how to install Redis on a Linux system and we will go very basic step by step. So let's get started. And step number one is we have to connect to our Linux system. In my case, I am using an Amazon EC2 Linux machine. So I'll just show you. So this is my Linux running on Amazon EC2 and I have to connect it. So I will just go to this connect and copy this command which I can then run from my Mac I am just copying this and I will go to terminal on my Mac and just connect to my Linux instance so now you can see I am on my Linux and now step number two is we have to run the commands to download extract and compile Redis so let us go to our browser and I am searching for Redis and I will go to redis.io and here we have the download section and let us go to the check the downloads page link and here we will go down and we have these commands and we can run these commands on our Linux so let us go to our Linux system and here I will create a new folder or a directory by the name redis so now I have a folder called redis and let me go inside this folder and here I will run all my commands so the first command is I have to get the redis I have to download using this wget so I will just copy this and paste it here and it will download redis and now it has downloaded redis the next is we have to untar the tar file so which is this command and I will just run this command here and if I go to my folder now I can see this is the untarred folder of redis so now we can go inside this folder by this command cd so now I am inside the redis 3.2.8 and uh, you will get these commands as per the latest version that is available at your time so at the time of recording this video it is 3.2.8 but whatever version is available these commands will get updated accordingly so now you can run the make command and just uh, make sure that running the make command you use the super user that is sudo and also in case you get any issues in running the make command make sure that you are using the super user permission and you can run this command in case you get some error like this that uh, cc command not found error 127 in that case you can run this command yum group install development tools i will make all these links available in the description of the video and also you can run sudo yum install gcc make so let us go to our linux and i am saying sudo make and this command will take some time and finally it will compile and make redis available on our linux system and after this is completed you will get this hint it's a good idea to run make test command so let us run this and again you have to use sudo make test now again this command will do some testing and finally will give you some information if everything is okay it will give you all the information and in case there are any warnings or errors the same will be listed out so this command is going to take some time I will just pause this video and restart once this is completed now our command is completed and we have got this message all test passed without errors so at this point redis server and redis cli is now installed on our linux system in case you get any kind of warnings or errors you just copy the statement and browse it and you will find the solution so in our case everything is okay so now we can start redis uh, so we have we can go to our source and then we have redis server and this should start our redis server and in case we need to start the cli we can say redis cli again inside the source and it will start cli however we want to make redis available system wide so that i do not have to go inside this redis directory and inside the source folder every time so for doing that we have to run the command make test install and it will make redis available system wide so again we will be using sudo 
and I will say sudo make test install this command will take some time to complete and once this is done we can now start Redis and you can be at any location on your system on Linux and you can just say Redis server and it will start Redis on your system and you can see running in standalone mode on port 6379 which is the default port of Redis. So now step number 4 is we have to run Redis server which we have already done and also we have to run a Redis CLI client and validate that our server is able to listen. So I am going to another terminal and I will again connect to my instance here and here let me clear this and I will run here redis cli and you can see it is now started and I can check yes the server is responding so now our redis is ready and also we can shut down the server by using shutdown command and I will say save and now you can see the server is shut down so this is how we install redis on linux in the next session we will see how to use redis desktop manager